Hi you guys, I hope you're all having a great day so far. Um, between last weekend and this weekend, I was finally able to get some shopping done. So I wanted to do a little haul for you guys. Um, I went to Sephora, Bed Bath & Beyond, Target, and Best Buy. So those are the four places I went. Yeah, four. I know you're wondering what does Best Buy have to do with the beauty haul. It technically isn't part of the beauty haul, but I got a new toy and I have to show it off. So I got very, very lucky and my husband and I actually managed to get our hands on a set of the some of the last iPhones in our area. We ended up going to like six or seven different stores and we were finally able to find a few left at a Best Buy. And we're really, really excited because I know that Apple's like pretty much out of inventory at this point and a bunch of people are having to wait like a full month to get their phones even some people who pre-ordered which is insane so i'm really happy we decided to go in store to find them instead of pre-ordering but we didn't go in until sunday we didn't want to stand in line to try and get a phone because we don't have that kind of time but anyway here it is the iphone 6 i got it i'm in love with it it's amazing i have a little blue case from spec on it right now it's really cute it has these little grippies on it i got the 64 gig silver and white because i love the silver and white color scheme and with all the photos i take 16 gig wouldn't cut it my old phone was a 16 gig and it filled up really quick my husband got the exact same one except he got the black and slate gray i know this technically isn't a tech vlog but i am kind of a tech geek so if you guys want me to i can do a video review or a blog review of this phone because I'm in love with it and it's amazing and I can go into like all the little fun details on there. So if you want me to do that, go ahead and let me know down in the comments below whether you want me to make a video or a blog post or both. But anyway, on to the almost as fun stuff. All the beauty products I picked up. I picked up a variety. I picked up um, some hair stuff, some nail, and some makeup. So I'm going to start with the hair stuff. One thing I picked up is something I have for a long, long time, and then I switched to a different product and didn't like it as much, so I'm going back to this. It's the Trust Me Tray 2 Hairspray. I get mine in number three, Firm Control, because this helps hold my hair without it turning into like crunchy hair. And I also use this on my girls, and it's really gentle on their hair as well so I picked up a huge can of this because I love it it's amazing I also picked up two cans of my Batiste I love the fruity and cheeky cherry scent it smells amazing yeah I do have dark hair but the white in this brushes out and massages in really really well so it doesn't bother me at all and this stuff smells so much better than the kind that's for dark hair and it also doesn't turn your hairbrush funky colors so um yeah i got two of these because i was previously buying one at a time and i ran out of them so quickly it would be like a couple weeks to a month i'd be like I have to go buy another one, so hopefully these will last me at least through October, I'm hoping. Let's see, some of the other stuff I picked up, I needed a new eye makeup remover. I hate the Neutrogena one, the Neutrogena oil-free makeup remover, can't stand it. I love a ton of other Neutrogena stuff, but that one doesn't work for me, so I've been using this simple eye makeup remover. Here's the thing, it's great on regular makeup, but when it comes to waterproof, 24 hour liners, etc., it's useless at taking it off. So, I picked up a new one, I saw this, it looks like it's brand new, I'm not sure if it is, but I haven't seen it before. It's Maybelline the Flash Clean, Clean Express, it's a 3-in-1 makeup removing lotion, so it actually pours out like a lotion, and then it thins down into like this thin, um 
this thin consistency. It doesn't say anything about it being oil free at all, but I honestly didn't notice an oily feeling, so I'm thinking that it's oil free. I'm not entirely sure. Okay, I don't see any oils in the ingredient list but it doesn't specifically say oil free. So I can't give you a 100% answer on this, but I will be doing a review on this later after I've used it for a while and tell you guys what I think of how it works. That's all I got for the hair stuff. Now up for the nail stuff I got. I used this before a long time ago and I loved it. It's the Burt's Bees Lemon Bar Cuticle Cream. Um, the one I had ended up going bad, I've never seen an actual expiration date on it, but I'm guessing because it's a natural product, after a while it got gritty, like it had sand in it, and I don't know whether like some of the cocoa butters or, is there cocoa butter in this? I don't know. Yeah, there is cocoa butter. Okay, I'm right. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know if like the cocoa butter one, the other um, oils or butters in it went funny and went gritty or what happened, but it got funky with age. So I decided to pick up a new one to give it a shot because my cuticles are a huge mess right now. Speaking of, I grabbed a second cuticle thing just in case this doesn't cut it. And also I wanted to try something new. This is fairly new from Sally Hansen, at least I haven't seen it before. It's called Cuticle Rehab um, Cuticle Oil, and it says it helps restore severely dry, ragged cuticles, which I could be the poster child for. So I'm also going to check this out and do a review on it, see if it's any good, and I will let you guys know. Um, and the last nail thing I got, this is from the new SE Fall Collection, Dress to Kilt. This is the color Partner in Crime. This is a deep, deep, dark chocolate brown cream formula and it is gorgeous. Um, I will probably be doing a nail tutorial using this because I can't swatch it for you guys right now because I have other nail polish on. The Fall to Kilt line is really hard to find. I could not find it at, it wasn't at Target, it wasn't at Ulta. The only place I found it was at Bed Bath & Beyond and they had a huge rack with all the colors, all the new colors there and they're really, really gorgeous. I only picked up one because what I was looking for at the time was a chocolate brown polish because I've been looking for a good one for months and I'm so glad I finally found one. Uh, next up, like I'm so happy because I walked in Bed Bath & Beyond and I was like, oh that's new, that's new, that's new, that's new and I'm like, why doesn't my Target have any of this stuff? And it's like they need to get their heads wrapped around the whole having new makeup thing because it's driving me nuts. Anyway, I found this, and this is so new that hardly anybody has covered it. I haven't heard anybody even mention this yet. So this is the new L'Oreal Voluminous Butterfly Intensa Mascara. There are two versions, one, one not waterproof and one waterproof. I grabbed the not waterproof, um, and supposedly it's a slightly different formula than the original. And it also has a double wing brush. Now I can't compare this to the original because I've never tried it. I was one of those who looked at it and was kind of like, okay, another volumizing mascara, who needs it, etc., etc. But they've come out with so many different versions of this and there's been so many good reviews that I just saw this one and I have to admit the shiny red packaging kind of got my attention because like I'm like a magpie and I see something shiny and I'm like, I have to add it to my collection. So I'm going to give this a try and review it for you guys and let you know what I think. All the rest of the products I'm going to be showing you, I'm also going to be reviewing for you guys. Like in-depth, detailed swatches. You guys know how I review. Next up is the new Maybelline The Mattes Lipstick Collection. I went to Target and they had three colors left. And the three colors they had would have all looked terrible on me. They were out of every single color that I wanted to buy. So I went to Bed Bath & Beyond. Again, they had the 
full collection. So I picked up five of them. I didn't pick up any of the bright, bright pinks in the, set, in the middle of the line because I'm not huge on super bright pinks for fall and winter. I think they can look a little bit comical at times if you're wearing darker colors, heavier textures, things like that. So I went for more of the nude neutrals and some of the darker red tones. So I picked up five of them. I'm going to just show you which ones I got real quick. I got these five. As you can see, I got all the way from nude to like the pinky blush brownish tones that are really popular right now and a red and a burgundy shade so i'm going to do a full review on these they are beautiful and i will have all the details all the swatches and all that fun stuff for you so that's everything i got drugstore last weekend i was actually able to drive the hour away to get to a Sephora. I'm still keeping my fingers crossed. They build one near me, but till then I have to drive an hour to get to one. So yay, Sephora. Um, I actually went to Sephora for two specific things, two kits that they had, because like I saw these and my eyes lit up because they're two of my favorite things. One is the For Sephora Favorites Draw the Line Kit. This has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, liners in it. Now they're not all full size of course, they're all sample size, but they're like a deluxe sample size. They're really big so I'm going to, here, that's about the size there. I don't want them to fall out of the package there. So I'm going to do a full review and swatches with this and I also got the Give Me Some Lips for favorites and it has one full size, again, and the rest are deluxe samples. So here they are. And these are all from high-end companies. The Draw the Line does have a Sephora brand eyeliner in it, um, which I haven't swatched and checked out yet. But it also has, you know, Marc Jacobs, NARS, Urban Decay, Stila, and Kat Von D. And then the lip collection has Bite Beauty, Urban Decay, Marc Jacobs, NARS, um, Buxom, and Smashbox. So these were really inexpensive too. The lip balm was $25 and the eyeliner was $30. And that is an amazing, amazing deal. So if you're building a makeup collection or you want to try some higher end brands, but you don't want to spend $30 or $40 for one full size product, if you want to kind of try a variety, kits like this are absolutely amazing to try the sample sizes. And then you can see what you really love, what wears well on you, and then purchase the full size of what you really, really love. So. Again, I'm doing full reviews on those in the upcoming weeks. Things are going to be packed full with reviews. Yeah, that is pretty much everything I grabbed that I found is either new in drugstores or somewhat new to Sephora. Not a lot of new stuff coming out right now. I have a feeling that a lot of it's going to get launched more towards mid-October, beginning of November for more of the holiday collections. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, I would love it if you'd subscribe to my channel. You can also keep up with me on joannabrooks.net and on Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, and Facebook. I am pretty much everywhere. And all the links for those are down below. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Bye.